With your look at local sports from across the Hickory Metro, I'm Jason Savage for WHKY News. We begin today with Little Orion Baseball, who would lose on the road Friday to Wingate 18 to 8, but rebounded for a wild doubleheader win on Saturday. They would win in 11 innings in game one, 14 to 12, and then take game two, 7 to 1. Bears 25 and 18 overall, 12 and 12 in South Atlanta Conference play. They'll be hosting Anderson on Friday. Lenorine softball swept a doubleheader with Newberry, winning game one six to three and five to two in game two on Saturday. Bears are 36 and 10 overall, 13 and five in South Atlanta Conference play. They'll be on the road against Tusculum today. Lenore Ryan men's lacrosse won 14 to 4 over Coker at home on Saturday. Bears are 12 and 1 overall, 7 and 1 in South Atlantic Conference action. They'll face Catawba on the road Wednesday. Lenore Ryan women's tennis defeated Lincoln Memorial 5 to 2 Saturday at home. Bears are 14 and 4 overall, 9 and 3 in South Atlantic Conference action. The Bears are competing next in the South Atlantic Conference tournament that will begin on Thursday. Meanwhile, the Little Orion men's tennis team fell to the Lincoln Memorial 6-1 on Saturday at home. Bears are 10-6 overall, 7-5 in the conference. They too are in the South Atlantic Conference Tournament beginning on Thursday. Lenore Rhine women and men's track and field teams resumed their outdoor season in dominating fashion this weekend. The Bears took a first place finish in 19 events at the 2024 Southside Power and Fitness Invitational at Lenore Rhine. The highlight of the weekend, Alexis Brown breaking the NCAA Division II record with an 11.09 second result in the women's 100 meter event. Lenore Ryan women's golfer Charlotte Colley was named South Atlantic Conference Freshman of the Year. In addition, she was named to the second team all-conference squad. Moving to Appalachian State news now. Friday, Appalachian State softball won over Coastal Carolina 5-2, but fell 2-0 Saturday and would lose Sunday 3-1. Mountaineers 16-21 overall, 4-11 in Sunbelt Conference play. They'll be hosting James Madison this coming weekend. First game of that series is set for Friday. Appalachian State baseball split a doubleheader Saturday against Troy, losing game one 17-2, but winning the nightcap 11-1. Mountaineers would fall yesterday 13-5. App is 20-13 overall, 6-9 in Sunbelt Conference play. They're at Western Carolina tomorrow for a non-conference matchup. Appalachian State women's tennis were edged out by Marshall on the road Saturday 4-3. Mountaineers are 12-8 overall, 6-4 in the Sunbelt Conference. They'll take on Old Dominion Saturday at home. And finally, the Hickory Crawdads split a doubleheader Friday against the Jersey Shore Blue Claws, losing the first game 4-0, but winning the nightcap 5-0. Hickory would lose Saturday 13-0, but yesterday the Dads would win 10-8. Hickory 3 and 6 on the early season. They're off today and are on the road this week taking on Greensboro. As always, much more can be found at our website, whky.com.